Yo, 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 what is up, everybody? Thank you all so much, so much for coming back for another video. I appreciate you taking the time to do so. If you're new here, my name is Joe Sanduli. I am a graphic designer and a self-taught calligrapher. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure to do so. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to clean a Pilot Parallel Pen. And that may not be something many people know how to do thoroughly compared to other pens out there and I want to first off say that cleaning your parallel pens are very very important I'm going to show you with one of mine and it's pretty much self well not pretty much self-explanatory because it's not it's something that I had to learn as I went went on in my calligraphy journey and also, I'll show you how, uh, let me clear my throat there. Also, I will show you how to take it apart and get into the it nitty, is it the nitty gritty or the tiny pieces of it. So let's go ahead and move everything over, get to the kitchen and I will take it apart there. And after we get finished in the kitchen, we're gonna come back here to my room and wrap up the video. All right, so as you all see here, we are in the kitchen because I I wash my pens in the kitchen sink because I feel using a metal sink, it is better than cleaning it in the bathroom sink, which I have not been a fan of risking staining the sink from the ink that we use. So here I have the Pilot Parallel Pen 6mm and I'm just going to take it apart for you really quick and show you that it's really not that difficult. Just unscrewing it, take out the cartridge and you all know I have a video showing you how to refill Pilot Parallel Pens for cheap. Then we're just going to pull this out. Be gentle with all of this, no need to be so rough with it. So there we have it. You have the nib, then you have the part that the nib goes into and the ink comes through all of this. And I don't know, it's almost like a something that traps it and then it just flows to the nib and then from the nib to the paper. Because the nib is two metal plates put together. And then you have the inside part here of where the cartridge goes in and the ink just flows through like that. So now I'm gonna put the pieces of that together and I'm gonna show you where I clean it compared to, because you can put one, these three pieces and soak them in warm water with a little bit of soap overnight if you want to take it that extreme. This right here is using what comes with the kit. They may look different than these now. As you all know, I've had mine for a while. These are like some of the first cartridges that I got with my 3.8 millimeter parallel pen. I'm gonna talk to you about talk to you about how to use this. First and foremost, put something in the sink so you don't have to risk dropping stuff down there and losing parts of your pen because that would be no good. This right here, this is the nib cleaner. The way how these work, you just squeeze it to suck up water, put it inside, and then squeeze it to push the ink through and clean it out. So you can just run like a slight trickle of water. You don't have to drown it in the water. And obviously you wanna have it pointed away and once you have it in you just squeeze it like that and it is cleaning it all out 
very simple to do. And I don't think it would be good to do such a thing in your bathroom. Not unless you have a bathroom sink that is metal and yeah. Can even run a little bit of water that is trickling out, fill it up, get some of the water out. And then you see, filled it up with the water running, squeeze it to suck in the water, putting it here on the inside of the parallel pan. I hope you all can hear me well. I have to get that fixed in the editing to make sure. And water on the inside, put it in and then squeeze. And once you're squeezing, you got to notice the ink splashing all over the sink. Don't worry, that is normal. I just also recommend to have it down in there so you're not getting it on the wall or sink or even on you. And you just sit that aside. And after you do all that, just let the, you could let your pins air dry. Because you see in that, we didn't use any soap or anything. We just used water and squeezed it through. And you're gonna have some water here on the inside. So you could take that apart. And run water through that. I showed you how to take Pilot Parallel Pen apart and saw how I put it back together. And I want to let you all know that this is coming from my experience, what I've learned. Didn't have a teacher, I didn't go to any classes or whatnot. And now I'm going to go back to the room and talk a bit about the importance of keeping your pens clean. As we just showed, well not as we, as I just showed, cleaning your pens, very important. Taking care of yourself makes it last longer and it makes you appreciate it more because let's be honest, calligraphy supplies is not cheap and it can get very addicting if you get into it and you find your, how do you say? find your rhythm and you find what tools work for you. So why not take care of your stuff, make it last longer, as well as it'll teach you how to appreciate it even more. And with that said, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to subscribe. Links are in the description below to my Instagram, Twitter, Facebook page, my personal website, my blog, Etsy shop, and Peace and love. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.